Right then, new package has come in. Um, this is one of our new machines. This machine is going to be doing a lot of stuff for Sharkade. Um, new custom products for the PC, um, console as well as arcade. Some really cool stuff coming from for the arcade. Stuff that's sort of been done. Not I've seen big companies do, but they don't. They've only done it once type thing. So I'm gonna do that if that makes sense. I don't want to reveal too much yet. Um, I don't want to say what this machine is, um, but it's detrimental on, on a lot of my products that's coming. Um, really heavy. I'm still waiting on some little bits coming next week for it. Um, I might even use that pallet box as well. That's a nice pallet box. So I'll store that away. Um, so I'll get that out tomorrow at some point. Update on the Street Fighter cabinet. Grills are done, dust covers and um, stuff is all done for this unit. I'll just, cause it's starting to get cold and damp, I don't want um, any dampness getting to the grills and stuff. Um, damp air, cause it's starting to rain quite a lot. Um, so I'll put them on last before I wrap it. It's just copying over the new 3 terabyte hard drive. Um, it's gonna have a lot more systems on it. Um, a new button layout and everything. I've just got to replace that LED. I did resolder it yesterday, but uh, it must have broke away a little when I put the LED back in. So I'll just replace it, and then I'll take a look at the LED and repair it if I can. Um, if not, I'll just chuck it. So then, um, that one's going to be ready. Hopefully, I'll try and get it sorted properly for Monday. It's all done. All built, just needs bolted in in places, needs a team holding on the front there. And the dust covers and grills mounted. Um, so yeah, just back screwed on and stuff. So that unit's done. Um, Star Wars cabinet I have put on hold a second, nice spinner on there. Um, ju just for the moment, I'll try and get some work done on this tomorrow and f hopefully try and get it all finished Sunday. Get in Sunday, get it all finished. Um, I've, there's a couple of things I think I've got to get done to this unit, but not a lot. But um, yeah, just team holding, um, get the buttons and everything configured. I've got to configure that spinner. It shouldn't take us too long to set up that spinner for the main games and stuff. And hyper spin, um, mount the eight terabyte, eight terabyte hard drives copied. Mortal Kombat 11 unit, um, dust covers have done. Um, really, really, really nice dust covers, man. Um, there's a lot of shine off the light, so I can't really think. But if I zoom in, it's got the nice Mortal Kombat logo on there and stuff. And the light of the monitor is not helping. But really, really cool dust covers. Beautiful looking grills. Um, I just went with the colour of the unit yellow, of the unit's um, I think it's like an orangey colour. Um, just went with that colour, and it really stands out really cool Um also added a little keyboard a mouse um usb bluetooth one that's plugged inside the machine so I just need to replace the batteries on this every now and again and there's a little keyboard there for playing keyboard games and stuff um and if just purpose editing and stuff um want to add games and stuff see if having a usb keyboard and mouse plugged in um to the available ports on the back so this unit will have um, two controllers it's going in play tonight um it'll be in there for a few weeks so if you want to want to order this i'll build you one i'll not sell you this unit um it has a gtx 1070 ti graphics card 16 gig of ram an 8 terabyte hyper spin drive with 340 plus systems and it's got another two three terabytes um, so that's 11 terabytes of um, hard drive data with um, all the next gen titles like Mortal Kombat 11 is on there, Steam, online, ready to play, all configured with the arcade sticks. There's um, Devil May Cry 5, there's Gears 5, there's Far Cry 4, 5, Primal, New Dawn, Metro Exodus, Rage 2. Um, Shadow Warriors and a few more games and they're all run spot on, they're all run up maxed out um some really really cool next gen games on there um and that's the purpose of the free terabyte just for high-end pc games um so i could probably add call of duty on there or something as well um just, just to be out there and ridiculous i think i've got a code for call of duty somewhere 
and um, the official code for black ops 4 so that's a mortal combat 11 unit like i say that's going in play that's play bit of fad um the a nice little arcade place around the corner i've done some stuff with the lads there um because i was going to open a place just like it um and then these guys moved in and i got hold of the guy that runs it and yeah we're working together on some stuff i'm displaying these beautiful machines and that and then obviously advertising them f for you guys so yeah that's play a bit of fun if you're ever in um, north devon um, nip down there they've got some cool arcades it's all free play arcades you can go in just pay one one payment to get in there they've got a bar there you can have a drink um, you can go upstairs they've got games consoles playstation 4s uh, um, i think they've got n64s and stuff they've got little um the mini nezzes and stuff like that and um, they've also got a couple of my cabinets they've got an nba jam one i've done they've got uh, my daughter's harley quinn ones in there at the moment and then they'll have this mortal kombat 11 machine they've got um time crisis games they've got um house of the dead so they've got some really really cool games when they first opened up it was a bit um thingy a couple of machines weren't working now most of the sheet machines are working um really 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 nice nice place to chill out like um and uh, improving so if you're in north devon nip down um and come and come and see what's going on um i will be building the mortal kombat 11 tournament table and um, big table with um the playstation 4 xbox one inside gaming pc with the mortal kombat logo in the middle and um, you could see the pc in the top of it and stuff and um, it'll be two player dual and um, screen arcade it'll have the arcade controllers each side player one player two each side i may even add a player three and player four and it'll be dual screened and stuff and um, so that's another project that i'm going to be working on once i catch up on my orders um yeah this this unit also has um hdmi out so uh if i'm doing a tournament on it or out like that i can just plug it straight into a secondary monitor and dual display it and then you'll be able to people will be able to walk past and see the what's going on um you know not many people can stand around the whole machine and watch people play they can watch it on a different screen um it has pinball side buttons um it has i believe wi-fi it has all sorts um one of one of my best machines most powerful ones not as powerful as the donkey kong one i've done but it's up there i believe the donkey one Don donkey one donkey kong cabinet i've done was a gtx 1080 ti um with like an i9 or something ridiculous like that and um yeah it was just a really powerful machine so that's an update I guess I'll try and get this finished um weekend. I've got an emergency order to do um to rebuild a machine for a customer. Um also get some get the next order done. I believe it's a stand up unit. Um and then there's another four or five. So like I say, I'll keep this updated. I may do a video tonight. I don't know if I'll be able to live put it live on YouTube. Um, I could possibly put it live on YouTube. Um, or I'll just record a video and then upload it. But keep an eye out. Um, and if you wish to order any of these beautiful units, some badass um, arcade cabinets, contact us at dean at And um, yeah, and we'll get things sorted for you. I do mainly PayPal invoices and stuff. It's just, it saves me money. It, it covers you so right i'm gonna stop jibber jabbering and i'm gonna crack on i'll see you later bye